plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Holler and hold tight. Welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at these little beasts. These are drain offs. Now drain offs are pretty simple things. They are just valves, very similar to a tap that you'd have on a kitchen sink or something like that. And all they do is they drain out a part of a system or a set of pipework or radiators that you want to work on. Now they are so, so easy to use and they're really, really easy to install as well. Firstly, you've got the valve jumper here. You've got the thread that threads the valve onto the seat that makes a seal. You've got this O-ring here that acts on the outside of this piece here to create a seal. So what you can do is you can thread one of these in like so, get it so it's turned off, and then put the outer thread like that in there as well. There are problems with these. You do get problems with them. You can get stuck shut. If, I, if there was a tool I was gonna say that you're gonna buy if you're constantly gonna be working with one of these, it's gonna be this, a square key, because they are great for just getting in they'll go right on the end of that and they're fine and you don't have to play around with a set of adjustables or a set of grips all the time which can end up gnashing the square off on the end buggering your grips up sometimes and also it's just grief because they're often in awful positions like down the side of boilers next to a kitchen cupboard or I don't know a dog's bed full of sick which has happened to me in the past. So let's have a look at how these work. We're gonna cut one in half so we can get a good idea about how they're actually done on the inside. And then I'm also gonna show you how you're gonna fix any problems about these when you open them up and they don't let any water out. So let's go now. <laughs> right, so we've cut our drain off in half. Now, first you'll see that our seal sits right here on this seat here and creates a seal just round there like so. Now, the problems that can happen with these that means they don't work is sometimes this rubber seal can fall away and not work or it can get stuck in. Sometimes you can take the whole of this piece out here and be left with the jumper stuck in like that. You'll know when that's happened because you'll be able to put your finger in the hole and actually feel the end of the jumper like so. The best bet there is to get ready. <laughs> Now what you need to do is, we'll look at this one here that we've got fully made up. What, so what you'd have on the inside is something like this, it's stuck in like so. And on the outside you've taken everything out like this, apart from obviously the jumper that we've got on here. What you'd do is you'd get a small amount of PTFE and just wrap that round this thread on its own. Remember this bit's stuck in here still. Small amount of PTFE and wrap that round there on, your own, on its own. Get your hose and pop that on this outlet here ready. Then what you do is you get a screwdriver, wiggle it in there and cock it. Make sure you've got towels all over the place when you do this. But there's only one way around it and this is the way. Cock this and basically you'll disturb that and water will start to seep through. Often it will seep through beautifully out into your face and everywhere else. So make sure that the water's cool that's about to come out. Then what you do, you instantly, as soon as water starts coming out, you've got this bit sealed up already. You wind that in there, bop seal that up and then you can drain off as normal. When you finish, when that's fully drained off, what you do is you take out this jump. You can actually get these out when that's happened. Then what you do, you've got new washers for these. You put a new washer on the jumper when you've removed it, pop a little bit of grease on here and push it all back together and then screw it all back up how it was. And then you shouldn't have any more problems. You have a nice fully functioning drain off. It never hurts periodically to just go around the house and just cut the drain offs open and make sure water's coming out and never ever over tighten them. So to recap, you've got the jumper on the outside that we can do up and undo. Then you have the actual twist mechanism on the inside here, like so. Then you have our valve jumper with rubber washer over it. Look how beautifully that fits back together. And that's what's inside one of these drain offs. So you've got your drain off like this and you're going to want to solder it on to a piece of pipe like this. Soldering drain offs on is a really common way of putting them on. You do get another type of drain off that will have a half inch male thread and I think you can sometimes get really rare half inch female threads as well. They just require standard thread sealant and then winding onto the fitting you're putting them on. But a lot of the time you'll see them like this on a piece of pipe. They'll be in a bit of copper with a straight 15mm solder fitting and then the actual drain off itself. So we're all ready to go and solder this beast up but we've got a problem haven't we? Let's think about it. We're going to be applying heat to this here. So what have we got wrong at the moment? What do we not want to melt and what could melt inside here? It's obvious really when you think about it. The washer. We do not want the washer to get hot and melt. So when we do any soldering on a drain off, you take the washer out and then you're ready to solder it in. Let's give it some sexy soldering time right now. I'm a big fan. 
as ever, like I've said a million times with soldering, nice even heat. Concentrate on actually heating up the brass fitting as well, because there's quite a lot of fitting on here that needs heating up. And we've cleaned our pipe down beautifully here. A blob. What a minging blob! And there we go, beautifully soldered in by Yolds Truly. Once you've got that soldered in, just let it cool off, give it a rub down with your wet rag to get rid of any excess flux. Once you're sure it's cool, pop your insert back in and then you won't have melted your rubber bit on the end. So, there's another thing you can do, sometimes you'll open these up again and you'll find that nothing comes out. Get your towels everywhere, sometimes you won't be able to get to the jumper at the end. It's just how life is. It's not always easy. So what you'd do is you'd undo it like this and if you can get yourself a small slotted screwdriver, insert that up into the drain off and try and cock back or somehow tamper with the stuck down seat that's in there that's stopping any water coming out. What will happen is, is you'll cock it like that, water will start to come out and you'll be there ready with your hose to quickly whip your bit out of the way. doesn't matter you've got a second or two because your towels are laid out and you're ready to go and you can pop on your hose and then water will start coming out and be brilliant. Once you've finished down draining the section you need and there's no water coming out, that'll give you the chance to take this out, strip it down and then rebuild it up in the way that we've said. Sometimes you just can't do that and you'll need to cut off a section and put a new one on. But you've seen how to do that just now because we showed you how to solder them in. I know it's been a quick video but hopefully it's given you a better better idea about how these work, where you can install them because they're always installed at the lowest point and also it gives you a bit of an idea about if there's no water coming out, how do you get that water coming out? The problem most people find is when there's no water coming out they're scared to death of doing anything. Now one thing I'd recommend is if you are going to do anything to one of these, if you've got a pressurised system, dissipate the pressure somehow elsewhere. If you've got a gravity fed system it's not going to be so much of a problem because you're hard you're going to be able to stop that water coming out because you've only got at the most four meters worth of head above you which isn't going to be a hell of a lot so i hope it's given you a bit more confidence to sort out the problem of these not sometimes letting any water out if you need any more help or any more information please visit our website at plumberparts.co.uk remember you can subscribe to our videos and remember you can follow us on twitter and you can like us on facebook I hope to see you in our next video and remember you can always ask the plumber we do an ask the plumber segment bi-weekly as well so people you got to remember you got to hold tight throughout the night and you've got to keep it real you've got to give the word to your mother your sister and your brother um, and you've got to remember that big g is a g now if you don't know who i am and you haven't watched any of the videos before you're not going to know what i'm on about but if you subscribe you'll see into our madness i'll see you in next week's video everybody hold tight plumberparts.co.uk honest reviews and advice